Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host, one HP Tom, back at it again. And today we have part 18 of our Xenoblade Chronicles 2 5th Anniversary Playthrough series. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And let's head to Temperantia to stop Jin and Torna. Specifically, just Jin, because we know it's just Jin there, because he said he was going alone. But we have to mitigate the war that is about to wage between Morodane and Uriah. That they're the only ones who will benefit off of it, so. Let's go quench the flames. But enjoy the nighttime in Indol before we leave. Because even, even this night theme is different, which is great. Let the people see, guide the ones who cannot see, voices guide us through, words from above. We are the chosen ones. It's a beautiful song. But it's time. You now you get your little serenade by 1HP today, this afternoon, hey, remind me again morning or night, wherever you're at. There. Because this sounds like fun. We're not on holiday, yeah. I've heard a lot about Why these can't we be people. on holiday? They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? Yeah, and so? Besides, what about it? I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Shall I? <laughs> <laughs> Because Tantal calls himself Torna. However, they're not Torna. It was just a lie. That's the only reason why they agree with Endol. Because Endol knows the truth. But more on that later. We'll, f we'll find that out later. Next chapter. This chapter is about Lady Morag. Greetings. I have Your Majesty. Our Titan weapon has crossed the central. Morag's border. brother. It's advancing at about forty Titan pets per hour. Oh, I want to get in front of it. Nile. That's what his name is. Dock. Nile. There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. But I doubt Understood. we're going to get that far no. in this part. Yes, ma'am. I think we're just going to be fighting Jin in this part. When I first heard this OST from Temperantia, I really, I really wasn't about it actually. I was like, eh, this could be better, but kind of warmed up, you know. Like it, it's, it's good. I like it a lot actually. Now, I don't know if we're gonna have the, uh, the Poppy Cutie Pie Cliff. I mean, we'll, we'll probably have the opportunity to do it, but I've already unlocked her, so I don't know if you necessarily need to. So, just play it by ear. However, oh, we're very, like, under leveled. To be ignored by these enemies, so we'll see. We'll see how we fare against Jin, because I don't. I don't know if this is gonna work out for you. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
make it through this, I'm telling you. We just have to make it through. We want to get to see what happens next and not be stuck in an endless battle for the next five minutes. We just gotta get through it, you yeah. know. Yeah, I need to have Mithra equipped anyway. Why do I have Pyra still equipped? I need to switch that. I'll switch that after this cutscene. Mm, they didn't stand a chance. Of course it didn't. Look, over there. Watch out! Here it comes! Here comes the big one! <laughs> Directly at us. Everyone, it's like they knew we were coming. Okay. Just about, I think. We have to stop it. How do we do that? On its back, there's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply will be cut off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. Sure, that sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. You know, she can control her power okay a little bit. I read instruction manuals. It's my job to know these things. Oh. The weapon is powered by vapor Never mind. tight and bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that... Oh, wow, Rex, damage. you would have killed everybody. Why, why Rex, why? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's so cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly oh, I mean... why we called a halt to the excavation. How we get the people on board? The control center is protected by ten layers of armor. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. That armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How it's nerf or nothing. <laughs> Mithra okay. knows. There's a spot where the cliff juts out. If we can get up there, we'll be able to jump onto its back. Burn it. But if our Titan's off, we go head first down to the bottom of the cliff. And we'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. It just feels so tense. It feels so incredible. I mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun. Smart. All right, then. You be Rex, careful. you act like she's gonna die Don't from worry. doing that. I will. Then let's go. No comment. <laughs> be like, I've been spoiling everything up to this point. Should I? Should I continue? Or? But I mean, I, I think I've already alluded to it, so. Okay. We already have a good Radio. idea of what's going to happen. Yeah. Maybe we'll get out of this. Do it. 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 Do it
Let us make use Back. of it now. Show me your shot. Let me take it. Wait, get on. Let me take it. Let me take it. Let me That fire can hurt you. Let's see, it's hurting the team. You gotta avoid hey, it. Look what I found. I learned that the hard way. In the past. Almost there. Ah, we can't get closer. Allow also, me. green's my favorite color Allow too, and. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just leaving it at that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Funny enough, that's what they do we just need to cut that. at first, but if you oh. die here, you actually have to use like Poppy's like ability or something. Super strength and jump to get over there. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Bitch Lita, fight. <laughs> yeah, quit your bitch. <laughs> This might take a while though, I will say. The more I remember this now, this fight now, the more I should have been like the proper level. And by proper level I mean like the proper level. Get up Rex. Rex. Finally, we're gonna finally see orbs around a boss. And then he like reads all the top of the team. I'm just gonna have to get it with a uh, a chain attack. Combo, third stage. Awesome. He's gonna have to do a massive amount of damage. Can, can I do a... can do a chain attack, there we go. Good. What do we want to do? Go for it. I mean, we only did two orbs, but it doesn't matter. As long as we do something, we should be fine. Ready or Gormati. <laughs> Tora, Poppy, Yoda. Tora, right on time. Poppy, ignition. Begin. There we go. Yep, that's Let's that's all we needed to do. Magnificent. Hit it, no. Prominence. Perfect. Much stronger. See, because I was like a little confused there. That was the first time I ever did a chain attack in this playthrough. But for that specifically, we had to because of the fact of the Stopped. machine regenerating yes. after exactly. every single hit. It's you. I thought it might be. Jin! Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. Yeah, and your best friend. I am Fan Lenore. No, you're not. As Your name is Hayes. Office, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic that you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. Jin, Jin is pulling up some deep, deep wounds here. And you, Aegis, don't you dare stand there acting like you're not involved in all this. All right. Then tell me this. Why are you who fought alongside us to defeat Malos now standing by his side? 
Yeah, Jin. Jin fought against him. Yes, Rex. You didn't see the flashback. I did. <laughs> I realized he had the right of it. That's all. That's not what you actually think. You're just a broken man. He gave you a way out. I don't think it's as simple as that at all. It's true. She's right. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mitra, don't tell me. Yes. He's a blade too. He was the strongest blade in Torna, until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sang it. A blade! True. There were none stronger, yet none kinder, either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jim, what True, changed? he doesn't like fighting, bro. It was your fault. Because it is Mom. Mithra's fault, technically. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then Laura would have never died. Uh, it's all your fault, Mithra. So that's it. So it's Mithra's fault, guys. It's all her fault. That cool crystal. A color. It's like blood. Careful. He still isn't normal. He isn't a like well he's a flesh eater, but he's not like a uh My ability is to restrict a blade's every action as long as He knows this. He knows you have to escape its clutch. And he knows that he's gonna stop you first. Then before was that Go ahead and try. Anyway The way the Jin went about becoming a flesh eater was not the way that, like, Cole's core crystal or Minos core crystal was, where you could see he had the, uh, like, a little blue mixed in with the red. Like, this is, like, pure red, so you can tell Jin did some, like, something really messed up to do that. Involving, like, eating hearts, you know what I'm saying? Like, ho ho ho. Yeah, when you first do this fight, you're just like, yeah, it's, it was tough then, it's tough now, and I'm trying not to die here either. Like I said, I gotta just up the level, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, how? How is he still moving? Uh, Even that Patroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jin, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. That isn't an Aegis. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. <gasps> what? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now. He's freeing you from the curse. Freeing you from the Malphus. Which you don't understand yet. Until much later. Here until after this. But. It's nice that he did that. For her. <laughs> Yeah, nobody else realizes why. No. But you can really sympathize no. with Jin why? later. 100%. You'll be able to sympathize with him no problem. Why the hell would you do this? What good does it do you? Why, you ask? Be like, you don't understand, Let little boy. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high, yet we are doomed to never remember. True. Why? What? The accumulation of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow, change. Is it though? But blades are fleeting. 
When we return to our cores, our memories are lost. Our growth snatched away forever. People aren't so different. Man's life, too, has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Endal control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Endal decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin! I mean, he's not wrong about Endal. And we, the slaves. He's not, he's not wrong about that. Who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. Well, Rex is uh, going to find his answer. Don't worry. Ends here. Uh, is what you'd like to say. You're at your limit, Jim. Aha! Why now? Hey, now's our chance. Because Jin did what he did what to become a flesh eater. That's the reason why, right. like, he's sick. Kind of like Cole, what? but not really. In a way, yes, but not entirely. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. But even Akos is a flesh eater. Who says we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? How? We cut the bloody cable. Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. I guess it was more pacified because uh, Hayes was doing her thing. I'll leave you to it. And yeah, I just keep calling her Hayes instead of Family Nor because Family Nor, I don't really like the name at all. <laughs> Once I learned her other name, I prefer to call her the other name. But hey, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Okay, maybe time to take you down. Yeah, I just forget if it regenerates. I don't think it does. This Jin's not in the pasture sheet. Oh, it's electric. Yeah, I do remember that. I remember that being a problem. Hopefully that just killed him. I think it did. Because Rex was on his last legs there. But as long as you have stuff in the chain attack bar, then you can r revive. You're too young, Rex. You don't understand why. I'm, I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But I couldn't do anything. Fun. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. It's the truth. Jin, what happened to make you like this? If you knew, you'd sympathize. What is that? That's Uriah. Ryan Army. Now here we so go. Many of them. What? No. Shit. Who gave that damn order? <laughs> uh. I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? 
They think Morang's good. Attacked them illegally with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on, don't worry. There's no time for that. Don't worry. So, so, somebody's gonna step in. Somebody's gonna step in. And that's what we'll pick up in the next part. Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. You're like, look who's intervening. And that is the end of chapter 5. We'll pick it up in part 19. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.